What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this brand new episode of Restoration of Vic. Today we're going to be restoring these 2012 Obsidian 12s that I picked up at uh, SneakerCon Memphis recently in a beater box for only 40 bucks. Um, as you can see, these things are not in the best shape. They need a deep clean inside and out. Um, remove the yellowing off the soles, repaint the midsoles, and repaint the yellow tab. Um, it's going to be a lengthy but simple process, so let's get started. As always, the first thing we're gonna do is remove these shoelaces and insert our adjustable rejuvenated shoe tree to size. For this cleaning, we're gonna be using Rejuvenator's three brush single launch system, as well as our brass bristle brush. The first brush we're gonna be using is a stiff bristle brush to give these soles a deep clean. All right, we're all done with the stiff bristle brush. To give the soles a deeper clean in some areas, we're gonna be moving on to using a brass bristle brush. Soles are fully clean. Before we move on to cleaning up the uppers, there's a small piece of gum right here. It looks like Winterfresh, might be spearmint. It's definitely spearmint. Either way, we gotta wipe it off using some Goo Gone. That piece of gum wiped right off using the Goo Gone. Now we're gonna finish off cleaning up these uppers using the all-purpose brush. Shoes are fully pre-treated, they look great. Now the next thing we're gonna move on to is putting this shoe inside our sneaker laundry bag and put them in the washing machine. Time for the washing machine process. As always, we're gonna be using cold water with the regular cycle. And let's not forget to use one ounce of our rejuvenator sneaker laundry detergent. All right, we are back. Shoes are fully dried and clean. They look 12 times better. They smell good, look great. Creasing's gone. The uppers look pretty much brand new, but we're still not there yet. The next thing we're gonna move on to is removing the yellowing off the rubber soles using Salon Care 40 and Saram Wrap. Just pull the shoe out the indoor setup. Um, they look a lot better, but there's still some slight yellowing on the outside and inside of the soles. Um, I gave the shoe two four hour long sessions. Unfortunately, that's as wide as you're gonna get. I could give it another session, but I don't think I'm achieving any better results. So we're just gonna move on to the next step, which are these midsoles. Um, the midsoles aren't in terrible condition, but there is some slight fading on some areas. So we're gonna freshen that up. First thing I gotta do is prep the midsoles using acetone and cotton balls. The 
mantles are properly prepped on both sides. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is move on to taping. I'm gonna tape off the outsole and uppers. Mantles are prepped, shoes taped up. Now we're gonna apply some white paint using an angler brush. Paint's nicely evenly applied on both sides of the shoe. Now in order to protect this paint job, we're gonna go outside and spray some Krylon matte finish. After letting the finisher dry for a good 20 minutes, now we're gonna remo remove the tape and move on to the next step, which are these plastic tabs on both sides. All right, so for these tabs, as you can see, they're a little bit off-white, yellowed. Um, the only way to bring these back to white is by painting it. So what we're gonna do next is tape off everything but those tabs so we can prep them for paint. Shoe is taped up, napkined up. Next step we're gonna move on to on prepping these tabs is spraying it with Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. This stuff helps the paint stick to the plastic material. Very important. Shoes are taped up, napkined up. We also sprayed the Adhesion Promoter so the tabs are prepped and ready to go. Now we're gonna be applying this white paint mixed with the Angelus Tooth In through the airbrush. Paint applied only took an easy five coats. Now in order to protect this paint job from cracking or peeling, we gotta apply the almighty sealant. This stuff will help prevent any of that stuff from happening. You can find this stuff at rejuvenator.com. Sealants applied on both sides of the tabs. Um, those tabs are ready to go. So what we're gonna do next is remove all this tape and napkins so we can move on to the final touches and wrap it up. So now we're gonna be using this lint shaver to shave off all the lint on the sock runner. All right, this is gonna bring us to an end on this full restoration on these Obsidian Air Jordan 12s. When I first purchased these, these were in terrible shape, but I knew they had big potential to come back to life. They had a ton of yellowing on the sole. Um, they were super dirty inside and out. The mitts needed to be freshened up and the tabs needed to be redone. Just look at the 23 on the back. A lot of grime, a lot of yellowing, just super dirty. These came back to life with the magic of Rejuvenator Street Brush Ink Align System. Once the cleaning was done, I moved on to removing the yellowing off the soles. 
Like I said earlier, there's still some slight yellowing, but sometimes there's only so much you can do. Once that was done, I moved on to repainting the midsoles, redid the tabs, and cleaned up the sock liners. The shoe turned out great. You can find all these products I use in this video at reshoeminator.com. Check out the description below for my promo code, this week's giveaway winner, and how to answer for next week's giveaway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. See you guys later.